Hey everyone, this is Matt Hendricks with Follow the Leader Dog Training, and today I want to talk about one reason why dogs keep repeating the same mistakes. One thing I see happen a lot is dog owners will teach their dogs place command or downstay or something like that, and their dogs will learn it and you know they'll do it when their owners tell them but the problem is if a distraction comes by or something like that the dog will either stand up or get off place command um, or whatever and most of the time these dog owners they'll rush right over and you know they'll tell their dog no and they'll take them back and they'll put them back on place or they'll tell them to lay back down or whatever it is they were doing and so, you know, they tr they're trying to correct the behavior when their dog gets up and they do this over and over, but for whatever reason, the dog still gets up and still breaks place or still breaks down stay and just doesn't seem to be getting the idea that he has to stay there no matter what. Now, in almost all cases, what is going wrong is that the owners aren't really giving the dog a meaningful consequence when the dog breaks the command. Now, what I mean by this is this. Most dog owners, the dog breaks the command, they go over, they say no, they grab the leash, they guide the dog back, and they tell the dog to do place again. But what they're not doing is they're not giving the dog an actual uh, correction that has meaning to the dog. It doesn't have enough meaning to where the dog doesn't want to do that behavior again. So what they need to do when the dog gets up is go over, and say no like they have been, but then give the dog a pop correction that's actually hard enough where the dog feels it's a consequence and that they don't want to have that happen again and then guide the dog back to place. Or if they said no and the dog went back to place on his own, still go over and give the dog a pop correction so that there's still a consequence for breaking place or the same thing for breaking down stay because if there's not a consequence that's meaningful to the dog, then the dog will keep breaking the command even if you take them back each time. So just to review, if your dog does break place or downstay, as soon as you notice it, say no, walk over, give the dog a pop correction that's hard enough that it actually matches the dog's intensity level and where it actually has meaning to the dog and then guide the dog back to place or have the dog lay back down if the dog was doing a down stay. So if you do that and your correction actually provides a meaningful consequence where the dog goes, oh, I don't wanna do that again, then at that point, your dog will stop breaking place or stop breaking down stay or whatever it is, and he'll start doing it even around distractions. Anyway, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. I'm Matt Hendricks with Follow the Leader Dog Training.